so good morning and uh, today we can resume the lesson the tiger king by khal king so before that we can also have a glance then we will resume so before you read what is the general attitude of human beings towards wild animals yesterday we discussed right what is your idiom then you can also think when you when you are facing when you are you know meeting a face to face in front of a wild animal how will you react whether you can also beat whether you can also make them something or you can also speak with so you can also think what is your idea how will you react so we can uh, have a glance the maharaja pradivandabram this is the hero of the story he may identified as his highness what is the meaning highness that means reputation you are saying always in a reputation as a jaminda general uh, kailda major sada vyagara samhari a samrat uh, sir jilani jangjang bagadur mad See, just to think that how much he was called MAD, ACTC, RCRCK. What is the meaning? Nobody knows. Expansion? I will not tell you that. Something that is like you know some some pet name or pen name like we are also giving some additional names, and but this name is often shortened to the Tiger King. So he was known as very popularly Tiger King. What was the reason? Why he was you know why was he called as Tiger King? Everything we will discuss. So I have come forward to tell you here the narrator Kalki. I have come forward to tell you why he came to be known as Tiger King. I have no intention, and he was also stepping, you know, one step ahead, and he was also going forward and uh, speaking about that. I have no intention of pretending, acting to advance only to end in a strategic withdrawal. Even the threat of a Stuka bomber will not throw me off the track. The Stuka, if it likes, can beat the hasty retreat from my story. So. I don't, you know, I'm not worrying about the Stuka bomb also because when it is coming and uh, beating me or something, you know, collapsing me also, I will not worry because I'm standing for the Tiger King. Tiger King has that everything, that means courage and all those things. So right at the start, it is imperative. Already told you what is the meaning imperative. Here we can also say imperative means maybe crucial or essential or vital. To disclose, it is very important to disclose, means opening. That means, you know, revealing the secret. Secret of our Tiger King. Disclose a matter of a vital importance about the Tiger King. And everyone who reads reads a film will experience a natural desire to meet a man of his indomitable courage face to face. Those who are those who are reading about, those who are coming to know about our Tiger King, they have the desire. That means they will have the longingness to meet our Tiger King because that much he is something, you know, hero of heroes. Or we can also take, you know, too many things we can also take. Warrior of warriors our hero of heroes champion of champions that's why right sir and but there is no chance of its fulfillment but it is not easy to meet our tiger king and it is a history it is a it is something you know from our history historical experience that means you know as the Sarada died here also we are taking the tiger king also died as Bharata said to rama about the Sarada, huh? The Tiger King has reached the final abode of all living creatures. That means, you know, final abode means death. So, in other words, the Tiger King is dead. Then what was the reason? Now, we, we just now, you know, we have started the story. But anyhow, we have come to an end. That means, you know, in other words, the Tiger King is dead. The matter of his death is matter of extraordinary interest. So, immediately we will ask, as a reader, right, as an audience, when you are watching a movie in front of the, those who are sitting in front of the screen, you are also sitting and waiting for what is going to happen. Immediately a hero, or we can say that the protagonist died, or his death, like the message when you receive, you will also have the curiosity, right? You will also ask that, what was the matter? Why, how is this possible? How did it take place, right? You will ask. So that's why here the narrator is giving additional information. That means the manner of his death is a matter of extraordinary interest. That we will be also, we will be also included. We will be also motivated or encouraged by that, or entertained by that, the manner of his death. So that's why the manner of his death is a matter of extraordinary interest. It can be also revealed, or it can be revealed only at the end of the tale. You know what is the meaning of tale? Tale means a story. So that's why. That means one by one, he is uh, he's just creating curiosity among the readers. That's why the manner, see, in other words, the Tiger King is dead. The manner of his death is a matter of extraordinary interest. It can be revealed only at the end of the tale. The most fantastic aspect of his demise, death, was that as soon as he was born, when he was born, astrologers, they also, because he since he was a prince, so that means the particular kingdom has, right? Kingdom had its own astrologers, like, and of course, it is happening everywhere. So astrologers had foretold, you know, they also uh, that, and they started to calculate everything. 
and foretold foretold in the sense predicted and of course predicted and said too many things what is going to happen in the future so astrologers had foretold that one day the tiger king would actually have to die so everybody has to die nobody can escape from death or destiny the child will grow up to become the warrior of warriors hero of heroes champion of champions but they but they lips and swallowed hard in the sense they were not ready to share the real fact that means that's why they just reacted that's why they bit you know what is the meaning bit their lips and of course it is say their facial reactions they were not ready they were not happy to convey the fact that means the destiny of that particular prince when when they were compelled when compelled to continue the astrologers came out with it and this is a secret which should not be revealed at all and yet we are forced to speak about or speak out the child born under the star will one day have to meet its death that is very normal you know they were also giving some it is like riddles you know what is the meaning riddles or puzzles and they were confusing and they were also making some complications that's why at, at that very moment a great miracle took place even so they were continuously talking about the, the star and of course the child has to meet its death or destiny one day destination we will also get irritated like right? that's why even the child also the 10 day old child also and at that but very moment a great miracle took place an astonishing phrase emerged from the lips of the 10 day old jilani jang jang bahadur so while saying you know jilani jang jang bahadur it, it is something in you know, a humorous oh wise prophet this is what the child just you know pronounced oh wise prophet it is like you know irony some some when when we when when they are innocent and of course ignorant we will also criticize right when we are when we are looking at a very blacky boy and of course saying that you are looking like you know hero and you are uh, too handsome it is like you know irony it's vanja pugal chani like it's oh wise prophet everyone stood stands fixed in stupefaction stupefaction something you know they were surprised they they were stunned you know what is the meaning stunned they were uh, that means spellbound because they heard something from the child 10 day old child that's why they were surprised and they looked wildly at each other and blinked something you know they were unable to even uh, react they were surprised that's why everyone stood transfixed in stupefaction that means surprise or stunned they looked wildly at each other and blinked in the sense they were also looking at each other and showing their surprise oh wise prophet it was i who spoke so when that 10 day old child was speaking something to the audience or in 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 front of the you know they were also like uh, prophets messengers like you know they they were studied and they were given that input they studied uh, studied astrology and they predicted too many things that took place that's why so oh wise prophet and it was i who spoke something you know it is miracle that's why it happened and this time there were no uh, grounds for doubt and it was in fact born just 10 days or ago who had enunciated so here the meaning enunciated means pronounced or something you know spoke enunciated the words so clearly that means that means it was i who spoke the child was the chief astrologer took off his spectacles and gazed intently that means the particular at the bp that means they were also everybody started those who were around them you know surrounding something they, they also came forward and started to look at very keenly you know that's why intently at the baby so all those who are born will one day have to die this is what the child you know something you know had given that philosophy i know very well so all those who are born will one day have to die we don't need your predictions to know that that means you know that means birth and of course death it is all two things are uh, very common and of course everybody knows you are something you are all astrologer since you are all astrologer and study the astrology and something you know predicting in a, in it it is something innocent and of course you know ignorant you are all talking about the birth and death i am not expecting that one i am asking that you know there would be some sense in it if you would tell us the manner of the death the child was expecting demanding the royal infant uttered these words in his little squeaky voice you know what is the meaning squeaky voice means we can take an infant's voice you know very childish and of course with even the saliva also uh, from the mouth of the child the chief astrologer placed his finger finger on his nose in wonder and a baby barely 10 days old opens its mouth or opens its lips in speech 
So everybody started, you know, surprise, get surprised. Not only that, it also raises intelligent questions. That's why, you know, I, everybody knows that, you know, when a person is born, that's all, he is going to travel and of course he is reaching. And that means, you know, going to reach or traveling towards his death. It is very common and of course philosophy. You are just, you roll, you roll not for that. That's why it raises intelligent questions. That's in, incredible. You know, what does it mean? Incredible means we are thinking that, that can't be believed, right? And rather like the bulletins issued by the war office than fact. Something it is like, you know, we're looking at that, asking questions like, it's, you know, rather like bulletins issued by, issued by the war, war office are than fact. Something, a different, you know, a, sim, a different element is taking part. The chief astrologer took his fingers off his nose and uh, fixed his eyes upon the little prince and of course looking very keenly and what was what what about that something you know the child what the next one the child will ask like they were also looking at the little child little prince and of course the prince was born in the heart of the bull and they were also sharing what was the manner and what was the reason behind his death the prince was born in the heart of bull you know what is the meaning bull the bull and the tigers are enemies therefore death comes from the tiger he explained. This is what the astrologers also explained to the prince, and of course, even in even even the the even the king also, right? You can also take page number ten. And you may think that Crown Prince Jang Jang or Jilani Jang Jang Bakadu was thrown into a quake when he heard the word tiger. Something in you know, it is not in you know, a quaking like means babbling or murmuring. Something like not not like childish words or something from as a childish or infant, a child or infant. You may think that Crown Prince Jing, uh, Jilani Jang Jang Bakadur was thrown into a quack. That means that is not something uh, ordinary. Something was you know extraordinary when he heard the word tiger. And of course, it is like a uh, king. The king was opposing. Or we can also say it is like roaring. You know what is the meaning roaring? Roaring like, uh, but we cannot compare with, you know, we cannot compare a little 10 day old child with uh, the greatest king. But anyhow, here the narrator is mentioning that you may think that Crown Prince, Crown Prince Jilani Jang Jang Bhagadur was thrown into a quack. That is not, you know, something. Thrown into a quack when he heard the word tiger. The tiger, the baby was, the prince was unable to bear that while hearing the word tiger, 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 even the astrologers were telling that uh, the death, you know, will come from tiger like That was exactly what did not happen. As soon as he heard it pronounced and of course, the crown prince gave a deep growl. You underline the word, what is the meaning growl means here? Maybe it is like, you know, roaring. You underline the roar or roaring like lion. You know, what is the meaning? So it pronounced the crown prince when he, as soon as he heard it's pronounced, as soon as uh, he heard, that means the child, the infant, he heard the word tigers, it pronounced that means it crown it was pronounced by the astrologers the crown prince gave a deep roll in the sense deep roll means roaring like a lion terrifying words emerged from his lips and the let tigers be weighed you understand that always it is like we can also take i think julius caesar also julius caesar uh, uh, by william shakespeare i come to bury caesar and not to prize him like even uh, Anthony's speech, where Julius Caesar were very famous. You know, when uh, some, someone, you know, that means an astrologer, our prophets mentioned, our uh, one Julius Caesar, we were after that particular month, particular star, when he completed. That means, you know, when he defeated Pompey's sons and when he returned to Rome, and there were there were some prophets, and one of the prophets just you know mentioned that and uh, warned him, beware of that particular March, some some date, some month, and some. Then he was also roaring like that. Even even he was comparing himself with the death. And both of them were, you know, brothers like. That's why here, just a minute. Just why we're taking that. So here, let's tiger be weird. He, the baby or the infant was also terrifying, used terrifying words. That's why here. Terrifying words emerged from his lips and of course mentioned that let tigers be the let tigers be the like so we were of March that particular date as in Julius Caesar how cleverly Shakespeare you know mentioned that and this account is only a rumor rife in Pradeep on the program that means you know the day itself it started everybody started to speak that means you know what is the meaning rumor 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 spreads in a way that means you know getting from one and then it is also having all those things getting and preparing and uh, modifying its model and everything. The final stage while we're looking at that, 
it, it will be in a different state. Like where is this account? Underline the word this account means that means that description regarding Tiger King and manner of first death. This account is only a rumor rife, you know, rumor rife, have close to bracket, rumor rife and spreading in Prandi Bandapuram. To understand that rumor rife, like it is like a rifle, and of course, the bullet and spreading or speeding one place to another place, like this account that means you know the tiger king and tiger king's manner of death is only a rumor rife in pradibandapuram but with in hindsight underline the word hindsight h i n d s i g h t hindsight means but taking that means you know we are also saying uh, there is a no, there is a, you know golden and of course proverb like there is no smoke without fire so something behind that there is a, that means you know there is a reason and of course every action there is equal and opposite reactions like there is something that means that's why there is no smoke without fire so but this hindsight we may conclude it was based on some truth you understand that that is not uh, you know absolutely rumor but this account is only a rumor rife in Pradibandabram. everybody started to whatever you know even even a small boy also started to speak of the tiger king and of course tiger king's death the, especially the manner of the death but this and but with hindsight that means underlying the word hindsight means understanding that comes after the happening or we are taking that means following the follow up right but with hindsight hint 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 underline the h a i n t here h i n t hint, hint but we have to pronounce hint so hindsight hindsight means that is the following things right coming coming you know after that but with insights, we may conclude, that means you know, as a reader, you, you can also, I can also conclude it was based on some truth. You know what is the meaning of the truth? The astrologers also predicted and of course they also brought because of the star, bull and everything. There, there, is, a, there is a truth. That's why we can, we may conclude it was based on the truth, but it is not related to rumor. But it started, this account is only a rumor rife in Pradipanaburam, but same thing. And of course, reach the particular crown prince also. In the second scene too, you can also see that crown prince Jang Jang Bagdur and Guru Thalar and uh, stronger day by day. So for inner childhood, and of course, right? So crown prince Jang Jang Bagdur get a uh, Guru Thalar and, and of course stronger day by day. No other miracle marked, uh, of course, marked his childhood days apart from the even already described. That means, what is the meaning even already described? That means, you know, yeah, when he was a 10 day old child, he also opened his mouth and of course spoke too many things, asked to some intelligent questions, not like that. You understand that? That's why here the narrator is mentioning Crown Prince Jang Jang Bakadur grew taller and stronger day by day and of course week by week, month by month and of course year by year. And no other miracles underline the word who spoken. That means the child spoke or spoke spoke something. So no other miracle happened or marked us childhood days apart from the even already described. That even already described, he spoke something to the astrologers. So nothing happened apart from that. And then the boy drank milk of an English cow, was brought by an English nanny. Underline the word. You know what is the meaning? Nanny. Nanny means nurse or <coughs> excuse me, babysitter. <coughs> The boy, because he was something, you know, because of his highness and he was from the kingdom. And of course, since he was a prince, of course, he uh, he drank everything and he, he was he was given everything, whatever he expected. The boy drank the milk of an English cow, was brought by an English nanny, tutored in English by an Englishman. You know what is the meaning? Tutored and delivered and educated, educated in English, educated in English by an Englishman. So two to three many things we have to remember. The boy drank the milk of an English cow, was brought up by an English nanny, tutored in English by an English man. So nothing but English films, exactly as the crown princess of all the other Indian states did. You understand that? That's why it is, it is only the description. That means the, he was a prince and of course he was also born and brought up in that manner from the kingdom. So that's why exactly as the crown princess of all the other Indian states did. When he came of age, when he came of age at 20, you know something, so 20 years, he also, he was also taken and of course taken care and he was also born and brought up in this way. So when he came of age at 20, the state which had been with the court of words until then came into his hands. Something, you know, he was also taken, he was also given all those things. That means independence. Independence or we can also see freedom. You can also see here. So exactly as, once again from that, the boy drank the milk of an English cow, was brought up by an English nanny, 
tutored in english by an english man so nothing but english films exactly as the crown princess of all the other indian states did when we when he came of you can also have close to the grand line that came of age at 20 means he he just you know grew up g r e w grew up at 20 the state which had been with the coat of words you can also have close to bracket coat of words that means you write underline and write coat of words means have a close to bracket and write a child who is under legal protection a child who is under legal protection so the state 20 the state which had been with the coat of words until then came into a sign underline the word that came into a sign in the sense everything even the throne also was given to him even the crown also was given to him something that means came into his hands hyphen and right he took charge of as a king he took uh, he took the charge as a king and of course he was also that means you know so and everything so here the which had been with the coat of words that means a child who is under legal protection until then and of course came into a sense in the sense he started to rule pradipandaburam as the king of the particular state that means he took charge came into his hands means he became the king of pradipandaburam but everyone in the kingdom remembered the astrologer's predictions when he started ruling and of course when he started to rule as the king of the particular state and of course all everybody everybody but even we are taking in you know, a but everyone in the kingdom remembered the astrologer's predictions what was the predictions that means when the child are the kings that are demise and related are based on the tiger they, they started to gossip you know what is the meaning gossip but everyone in the kingdom remembered the astrologer's prediction many continued to discuss the matter each one that means you know, even the small children also they started to those who were even gossiping like slowly it came to the came 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 to the maharaja's ears just a minute Right, sir. Sorry to interrupt. Sorry for the interruption. Please take that. But everyone in the kingdom remembered the astrologer's prediction. Many continued to discuss the matter slowly. It came to the Magarajas ears. Just a minute, noise pollution. Yes, sir. So, but everyone in the kingdom remember the astrologer's prediction. Many continue to discuss the matter. Slowly it came to the Magaraja's ears. You know very well, it is, you know, a gossip. Gossip always creates too many problems. Gossip or we can also take something, it is rumor. So, rumor, nobody will ready to, you know, accept. When we are, when someone is talking about us, we will not, we will not also accept. We can also show our anchor likewise. And since he was a king, so, but everyone in the kingdom remember the astrologer's prediction. So, they also started when he took the throne. You understand that when he, when he was crowned something, you know, when he started to rule the state, Pradibandaburam, they started. And for that also, there were team members. So, they also started. Everyone in the kingdom remember the astrologer's prediction. Many continued to discuss the matter. Slowly, it came to the Magaja's ears. 
there were you know innumerable innumerable underline the word what is the meaning innumerable so maybe numberless forests in pradibandhapuram in the pradibandhapuram state they had tigers in them so the maharaja knew the old saying and of course he also so he he even he even he came to get that the maharaja knew the old saying you may kill even a cow in self defense you know the, the predictor and of course then uh, prophet or we can take that the astrologers also predicted and warned the maharaja you may kill even a cow in self defense you know what is the meaning self defense and protection there would certainly be no objection to killing tigers in self defense so you can also you can even a cow also even a dog also even for self defense anything you can also kill even tigers also you know this is all the saying they there would be there could certainly be no objection to killing tigers in self defense the maharaja started out on a tiger count something you know so they were in, innumerable when he came to know that that many many continued to discuss the matter slowly it came to the maharaja's ears and they were innumerable numberless forests in the pradibandhapuram state they had tigers in them and the maharaja knew the old saying you may you can also underline that you can also have close to bracket you may kill even a cow in self defense there could certainly be no objection that means you, know, you can do you can also kill you can also fight you can also even destroy be objection so certainly be no objection to killing tigers in self defense the maharaja started out on a tiger can when when he when he remember that that means you know no objection to killing no objection to killing tigers in self defense the maharaja started out on a tiger hunt you know what is the meaning tiger hunt and of course he also brought and started with with the team members the maharaja was thrilled beyond measure when he killed his first tiger because he was given that input you know my death related by a tiger so i i also started likewise his death by a tiger so he started to it is like beast you know what is the meaning beast so the maharaja was thrilled when he completed the first task so he was thrilled underline the word he was surprised and became very happy beyond measure when he you know any, apart from so instead of instead of anything instead instead of too many you know gossiping and of course the predictions the maharaja was thrilled beyond measure when he killed his first tiger you understand that since he was taking you know something after after taking his crown and of course as uh, king of the uh, pradibanda brahm state the very first attempt and of course he killed his first tiger so he sent for the state astrologer and showed us showed him the death beast something you know when we achieved we will also show that likewise that is not very easy that is not very easy task you know killing a tiger that was something you know showing uh, showing his courage and of course brave and even his guts also so here he was also very happy and that's why he just shared the things with the astrologer so the maharaj was thrilled and of course surprised beyond measure when he killed the first tiger he sent for the state astrologer that those who predicted and of course was warned him so state astrologer and showed him the dead beast they i have a close to bracket what is the meaning dead beast means that means you know here carcass where we can take the we can also take the dead body of the particular tiger so what do you say now he demanded i will showing that and of course you know in front of him and he was there with the dead beast dead beast the tiger's dead body and he was asking that what do you say now he demanded so the astrologer also replied your majesty you may kill so your majesty you may kill 99 tigers in exactly the same manner whatever you have done but 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 the astrologer drawled underline the word drawled means hesitating something and you know, he hesitated immediately asked what what speak with fear without fear then what do you want to say you can also convey you can see now you are saying that you know i have also i have also killed the tiger the red beast in front of you and you are saying something you are also hesitating yourself what what is the reason so but what speak without fear but you must be very careful with the hundred tiger this is what the astrologer again warned and of course predicted so already he predicted now he was just warning warning so immediately asked the king asked what if the hundred tiger were also killed this is something in an imaginary condition you can also underline the whole sentence what if the 100th tiger were also killed where also tiger 100th tiger were also killed it is an imaginary that means you know predicting and something you know we can apply in if classes and we can also say if the 100th tiger were also killed what will you do then immediately the astrologer also reply then i will tear up you can also have close up uh, close bracket tear up means you know what is the meaning chatting the books and of course tear off all my astrology books so all my books on astrology set fire to them because he was having the belief and faith and everything on his astrology that's why that's why he mentioned and of course warned but you must be very careful with the hundred tiger 
So immediately the tiger, the tiger king, you can also look at the tiger king's image and of course the old and aged and experienced because you know very well when he was a, a 10 day old uh, you know, boy, he predicted now he became something you know elder of course and of course aged man then you can also look at the differentiation then i will he also answered when that means what if the hundred tiger were also killed then i will tear up you know i will tear all my books on astrology i will tear up all my books on astrology then i set fire to them and and he was also asking and i shall cut off my tough underline the word tough means your can take you know banja fat that means you know he adds some pick known we are also saying something you know it's like what does their different uh, even haircut and everything so i shall cut off my tough 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 underline the word and that here banja fat or haircut crop my hair that means you know cut short crop my hair short and become an insurance agent in stuff my astrology profession you understand he was also giving his words because he knew very well because of astrology and as the knowledge whatever he possessed that's why he just to predict that everything was related to star then of course and that means he was born the bull star that's why he was against stuff tigers and he say death also will happen due to or occur due to or be by by a tiger that's why he was very confident that's why he was also telling that then i will tear off all my books on astrology set fire to them and and i shall cut off my tough crop my hair short and become an insurance agent the astrology finished on an incoherent note you underline the word incoherent in the sense we are unable to you know, express very properly or clearly some some muddled you know you can handle an in, incoherent incoherent means not proper sentences it means he was also just it's swallowing and of course swallowed all those things and muddled m-u-d-d-l-e-d -D -D muddled right yes in the scene three you can also see that from the day onwards it was celebration time for all the tigers inhabiting pradeep on the so he was totally disturbed the maharaja was totally disturbed by the words from the astrologer so that he he was very confident and of course he was very constant of course you know what is the meaning constant and he was adamant from his decision so uh, by his decision in his decision so here from that day onwards whenever whenever he discussed so when he discussed and after that he started that from that day onwards it was a celebration time for all tigers inhabiting pradibandhu what is the meaning you know celebrating here celebration time means it is like you know celebration killing and of course hunting so from that day onwards, it was celebration time for all the tigers. Inhabiting means residing, living, living in Pradivandabharam's forest, right? And of course, the state banned tiger hunting by anyone except the Maharaja. Because Maharaja had, had a task, that means you know, 100 tigers. That is what predicted. So he wanted to kill 100 tigers, 100, 100 tigers, then he will also rule. So a proclamation was issued to the effect that if anyone dared to fling so much as a stone at a tiger all this wealth and property would be confiscated that means you know here the stand ban the state banned you know what is the meaning restricted tiger hunting by anyone except the maharaja because my maharaja had a task 100 tigers he wanted to kill 100 tigers that's why an announcement underlying the word that means a proclamation means an announcement was issued to the effect that means you know he has continued that sent to the people that if anyone dared to fling, underline the word fling, means we can toss, two versus toss or throw so much as a stone at the tiger also. That means, you know, whenever they are looking at a tiger, they have to, you know, run away from the tigers because tire, tire hunting is only by Maharaja. So it is like, you know, something. That means the, the, the guest of a forest. So a proclamation was issued to the effect that if anyone dared to fling, that means toss or throw so much as a stone at a tiger, all his wealth and property would be confiscated. Unlike the word confiscated means we can take the ceased. You know what is the meaning ceased? A-C-I, is that E-D, ceased, taken. The Maharaja vowed, underline the word, vowed the means our uh, pledge, took a pledge, our oath, right? The Maharaja vowed he would attend to all other matters only after killing the 100, 100 tigers. He was very curious and he was unable to bear the words and of course the promise and 